Okay, Chef Brucey B here. Uh, we're doing a spaghetti sauce. We want to teach you exactly what you need to do to get started. We got one big can of diced tomatoes. Uh, I picked some fresh basil from my garden. And then, of course, you can get some tomato sauce, uh, some extra tomato sauce from either Walmart or one of your grocery stores, that your favorite stores. And you put that all together in the pot so we've got basically tomato sauce, diced tomatoes, and basil so far. And we'll be back with the rest of the ingredients in a moment. Brucey e. B here again. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some sugar, at least a good cup or half a cup of sugar in our sauce. It takes the tartness away from the sauce because you want a nice sweet balance to your sauce. And then we're gonna be adding some meat and uh, some other things in just a moment. We'll be back. Brucey B, back again here. Uh, we just picked some great herbs from the garden. We've got some uh, rosemary, and we've got some mint, and we already put our basil in there, so uh, we're gonna cut this up, and we're gonna clean it and wash it, and then we're gonna add it to our sauce. So stay tuned, we'll be back. Welcome back, everybody. So we, we washed our um, rosemary, we washed the basil, we washed some mint leaves, and we added that to our sauce. Remember, uh, all these herbs are from a fresh garden out in the patio here. So uh, you just want to wash your herbs before you put them in your sauce. Uh, we're getting ready to add some interesting things here. Uh, some oregano we're going to be adding. And we're going to be adding some uh, rosemary and garlic uh, sprinkles. So we'll be back. Stay tuned, folks. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we're cooking... Brucey e. B's Italiano Spaghetti Sauce, and uh, you're gonna love it. All right, so we got a little bit of wine here. We're gonna add a little bit of wine. Uh, you kinda, kinda go as you go here with the wine. You kinda get an idea of how much by adding a little and maybe adding some more later. But you'll get the perfect balance as you keep going here. So basically, we're, we're almost ready to stir here. Uh, you want your flame, you know, low flame, you want to cook the spaghetti sauce a while, I'd say a good couple hours before it's really ready. And of course, you want to cook it with the lid on and not such a high flame. And this way, it uh, all, all the aroma stays in the pot and doesn't get out and floating around the room. I mean, it's great to have a good smelling sauce, but you also want to have a sauce that's got that exact taste that you want and if you seal in those flavors with a lid then uh, then you definitely will be better off in the end okay we'll be right back folks okay folks uh, welcome back uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to use some regatta sauce uh regatta cheese rather uh just kind of like you don't have to get the expensive brand we're going to put uh, this cheese in the sauce, so it's going to be really, really good. Um, and then we'll be ready to start stirring in just a moment. So we'll be right back. First, we got the regatta cheese, and then we got the olive oil, and we're almost done with our ingredients. Welcome back, folks. We just put our regatta cheese in there. We're going to add our olive oil now. And as I said many times, as far as what to balance out uh, on each ingredient. I can't really tell you that because I go by hit and miss. So, And you will do the same as you get the idea of taste. As it comes out later in the end, you'll know what you're lacking, what you need to add more of. But right now we're almost finished with our ingredients. We're getting ready to stir and we'll be back in a moment, folks. Stay tuned for Brucey e. B's spaghetti sauce. Okay, welcome back. So as you see, we're stirring this sauce. We've got all those ingredients in there. You remember, you want to cook this for at least a couple of hours. And, uh, and you'll be ready to taste it about then. But right now, we're going to put the lid on. And uh, we're going to get our meat ready. Remember, it's about a pound of meat. Uh, you know, ground beef, ground chuck. And we're going to add that to the sauce. So we're going to have a meat sauce. So this is Brucey e. B's Tomato Italiano Meat Sauce. And we'll be back. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so basically, it's been cooking for about 10 minutes right now. But we want to stir it around occasionally. And your sauce should be 
uh, the color should be like a light reddish color. And of course, that's because of the ricotta cheese in there. But those herbs, I just tasted this, it's unbelievable. It's not even cooking two hours and it tastes outrageous. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be back in a bit and uh, we're gonna start our meatballs uh, to add to our spaghetti sauce later. So we'll be back, stay tuned for Brucey B's Super Italiano Tomato Sauce. Hello folks, welcome back. We're gonna be uh, doing our meatballs. We decided to do meatballs instead of a meat sauce. But right now, that's what we, we, uh, we have. We have that wonderful tomato sauce cooking on a low flame for at least a couple hours, so that'll be great. And then what you're gonna need for your meatballs is you're gonna need a uh, glass, uh, I guess a mixing bowl, or aluminum is good. And uh, you're gonna get your frying pan, uh, usually a nice big saucepan will do. You got a little wine and a little olive oil mixed together there. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make these meatballs in just a moment, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back folks. So what you're gonna need uh, in your mixing bowl is you're gonna need one egg, you're gonna need a pound of ground chuck, and of course you're gonna need some breadcrumbs. And we're gonna mix that all together, and uh, we're gonna show you how to make these wonderful meatballs. We'll be back. Okay, so welcome back. So what we're gonna do here is we got our pound of hamburger meat. We're gonna use our rosemary garlic sprinkles, which I love, I always use those. We're gonna use your uh, black pepper. And you're gonna use garlic powder, okay? And you're gonna use your Italian seasoning again, which is oregano. And your breadcrumbs. And we're gonna mix it all together. And of course, don't forget your, your egg. It's great to have an egg in your meatballs. All right, so we'll be back in just a moment with Brucey B's Spaghetti and Meatballs. Okay, folks, welcome back. Well, we've got all our ingredients in there with our pound of meat. We're gonna put it in the uh, saucepan in just a moment, but everyone asks me, you know, they say, Brucey B, where do you get this flavor uh, from your meatballs? And I'm gonna give you the tip right now. It's called Mayploy. It's a wonderful addition to cooking. And you could use it with anything or on anything. In this case, we're gonna put a little bit in our, uh, in our um, hamburger meat. And it's hard to do with one hand here, but I'll kind of show you how much for the pound. You wanna put at least three tablespoons in there, okay? and then you're gonna mix that up. And we'll be back, folks, in just a moment, and we're gonna put it in the saucepan, and we're gonna show you how to cook these meatballs. Welcome back, folks. So as you can see, we've got our meatballs in our saucepan with some olive oil and red wine, and we're gonna cook this on a small flame. You don't wanna burn the meatballs. And they're gonna take a while, so you gotta turn them here and there because uh, they are round and they uh, need to be spun around here. So uh, we decided to make meatballs today instead of a meat sauce, but that's just people's preference. And sometimes you can just make the meat sauce and cook the meat, chop it up, put it in a saucepan, drain the fat, and then you could put your meat in the actual spaghetti sauce. But today we're gonna do meatballs. So we'll be back. After these cook, our, soup, our uh, sauce is, is looking really good over here. Uh, of course, you want to keep turning that sauce. Because we've got it on a low flame, but with the cover on it, it seals in and gets quite hot. So you want to spin it around a little bit. Um, we've got our herbs in there that look really great. And then our meatballs. And we'll be back and show you exactly what to do next after this. Welcome back, folks. So the meatballs are ready. We'll be taking them off the flame momentarily. We're gonna strain them and drain some of that oil out of there. And then we're gonna boil our spaghetti and we'll be back to show you how to do that. And this sauce is just wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. And we'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back, folks. So we've strained the meatballs and you can see 
the leftover oil underneath. So we've got our meatballs already strained and they're nice and golden brown. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in our sauce, such like that. And then we're gonna stir it in. And uh, we'll be back with the finishing touches of Brucey B's Italiano Tomato Sauce. Okay, folks, welcome back to our final phase of our Italian spaghetti sauce and meatballs. First, a little oil in the water. Of course, we all know how to boil water. Put a little oil in there, and the reason why we do this is we don't want our spaghetti to stick. And then we take our, I guess, uh, pound of spaghetti, and we pour it in the pot, like such. And what you want to do is, you want to separate that spaghetti and make sure that it's not stuck together from the start. The oil will help that, but you want to watch it. And remember, we talked about it earlier, al dente is the way to go. Where you cook your spaghetti almost where it's just about not ready. A little bit on the hard side, not too hard. You have to know, you have to taste it, taste the strand and then you'll know that you're ready. But make sure that you don't overcook your spaghetti because that could ruin the whole meal. Okay, and if you want to take a glance, our spaghetti sauce is ready. Boy, does that look good. Mm. And uh, we're gonna show you the final product in just a moment. We'll be back. Okay, folks, so now what you want to do is you want to put some salt. I use two tablespoons of salt in my water because you don't want to add too much salt to your sauce because you've already got ingredients in there with salt in them. So you don't want to over salt your, your meal. But once you get your spaghetti in there, you want to stir it around and keep an eye out. Make sure that it's not stuck together. Very important. And uh, we'll be back with the straining of this spaghetti and the final product in just a moment. There it is, folks, the final product. Thank you for joining us today. Bon appetit. Until next time, this is Bruce E. B. signing off.